Good morning, everyone. I'm Allie with Alley Cat RV. Special shout out to Carlos who did request this specific video. So behind me, I have this monster of a 2021 Sandpiper. It's a 391 FLRB. Now this monster is about 42 foot seven inches, and you'll see just why it has everything to offer it is a beautiful beautiful rv um, let me flip the camera around and we'll get started i'll tell you a little bit about it all right i've got my cart plugged in for some extra power here so i don't drain these batteries starting with the very front cap uh, you can see that we've got the pretty blue lighting these leds you know this is more than just pretty though this is really useful going down the highway it gives you more visibility the more lights you've got on this thing while you're towing the more visible you'll be um, and the safer that you'll be now you can see you've got a big window up here that's going to be your front living but we'll see a little bit more of that once we get inside your slides are going to have slide toppers here all except for that slide over there which is under the awning um, getting a little bit ahead of myself here let's look under this first bay we'll set them down as we go close these doors you've got your hydraulics under here let me undo this latch here see if i can do it with one hand there we go slam latch door under here which is really nice these are a little bit harder to close when you're trying to twist those latches now this little switch here this is going to control those blue lights i was just talking about looking up at this slide here we can see those slide toppers again we've got three slides on this side and uh, i also want to note that you've got your side cameras on both sides it's got a rear camera and then i've got another little camera that i'll show you it is prepped for which is really really cool all right so looking under here this is going to be where your inverter your auto leveling system is and then also um, your batteries here so we'll close that now and this is going to be your pass through storage so you can see here you've got your water filter you've got your drain tanks and then you've got your um, outside shower you do have a little light in here as well so you can see when it's dark i love that this bay is encompassed um, for all of you who don't know i full time in a fifth wheel myself now mine has a very similar setup to this which is just turn the knobs so you match so you can decide if you want to winterize city water dry camping all that good stuff um, but mine does not have the separating wall and when i'm unplugging you know between the black tank flush or i'm moving back and forth between my water fill which is right there um, and you actually got a second black tank flush too because this is a one and a half bath but um, my point is is that sometimes this wall this it spills over and so this wall is really nice to have here it keeps the water out of this bay um, it's my whole point you've got your battery disconnect here you can see your spare tires there there's just kind of some extras some extra tile work um, so a little bit of extras that come with this slam latch there if i don't hit it too hard you've got your um furnace and then your water heater right there and I will show any discrepancies as we go. So far, this is pretty much a mint condition, um, but I'll make sure to show you anything that you should know about. You've got your low point drains under there. Coming around your tires. Now this being a 2021 model, these are gonna be the original tires, but you can see they really haven't been used too much. They definitely aren't worn down. This has not seen a lot of miles. Um, this bay door here, let's open this up. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yes, I can. All right, so this opens up and you've got a sliding tray here. So that slides out for full access. And you can see you've got one giant bay all down through here. So that's gonna be your 50 point, not 50 point, your 50 amp setup. Um, huge, huge under storage tons of access points so you've got this whole storage bay very easily accessible because let me stand back and show you here how big that bay door is and you can access it from either side you've got led lighting in here that's where that rear tray is so this under storage is absolutely massive which i love 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 to see um, i do want to show you something up on the roof here bear with me all right, up here on the roof, I just kind of wanted to show you um, the um, condition of everything up here. Roof looks great. Um, of course, that is kind of expected on a newer unit like this, but I'm over here walking on it. There's no soft spots, nothing to worry about. And you can see 
all these awnings and slide toppers are in great condition. We'll walk all the way over here. All right, roof, roof, not the loof, but the roof looks great. All right, now that we're back on the ground, where I prefer to be, if I'm being honest, we'll go ahead and shut some of these. There we go. Make sure that latched. Yes, it did. And all these, you can see, are held up with magnets. There we go. Coming around here, here's your other access point for this. There's that light switch for the um, LED lighting. And then notice you have a lot of 110 plugs in here as well. You've got one over there. All right, now this side. So this side's gonna be your outdoor kitchen. You've got two slides on this side, which makes for a total of five slides. Your awning here is in excellent condition. Um, no rips, no tears, no sun rot, anything like that. You see it's very clean when I talk about that. No problems with it. You get your outdoor speakers right there. And then this really nice outdoor kitchen. You've got a sink here. Open that up. It even has a drain. Some of these outdoor sinks, you have to just take them and dump them. But this one actually has its own drain. You've got three lights up here, two switches. So one of them goes to the blue and one of them goes, there we go, that's blue. And then that's your light colors on the ends. If you don't want that blue accent light pantry space up here oh and yes everything inside and outside is soft close doors and drawers and then you've got your three cubic foot beer fridge I mean soda fridge oh, look it even has a little manual ice maker up in there check that out all right very very nice let's shut this around just about covered everything on the outside I'll get to my special point here in a minute your propane tanks are both gonna be located right here in case you're wondering how to get to those this right here will pull out like so I'm not gonna pull it all the way out but you can get the gist of how that works there um, I kind of like having them both on the same side like that it's maybe a little bit easier mine is on uh, one on each side and I kind of like that style a little bit there's your other uh, side camera I didn't really point out the rear view camera over there but I'm sure y'all probably saw it um, this spray port is going to be just kind of like an outdoor shower but it's just a quick spray port that's where this connects up to and then this is going to be your 110s right there going up our solid steps I know I haven't looked under every slide but they are all in great condition no soft spots nothing like that crazy to worry about now what's kind of cool is it is actually prepped for a camera over the door if you see that up there you zoom up right there so you can actually put that install it and it will give you some insight to if anybody knocking at your door now I did that on purpose so you can see please be careful of this awning um, it is this way in some models across the board doesn't matter uh, manufacturer model um, some of them the door will swing wider than the awning arm this is one of those cases just make sure your door is just about halfway you know open like it is right now before you put your awning out or put your awning in or it could get caught on your door just be careful of that guys that's really the only uh problem with this floor plan i'm going to go ahead and shut this this is just the rest of the pass through storage cable connections right there you can see all the aluminum framing we go all right let's take a look inside I'm gonna go ahead and first close the awning so right through here you've got your bed slide is right here and then this is gonna be your power inverter control there but I wanted to show you kind of how this worked um, is that to select which you want here you just press the select and you can see it lights up what you want to control and then, um, let's see, we want to retract. So it's going to retract our awning out there. 
all the gears work nice and smooth putting it out was the same way it didn't jump as it went down let that finish closing I'll go over some of this other stuff while this finishes closing. You see you've got control to all your main lights, your cap lights, um, even your water heater. Uh, you've got tank heaters on this one. I think your awning's about done. Nope, not quite. We're still going. Waiting to hear it. There we go. Let's turn on all of these lights there we go and then this is going to be just a little extra storage pantry um, now there are awning lights you can see there's an led strip i apologize i didn't have those on earlier um, the porch lights and led strip is independent but you do have the led strip under there i'm going to shut this door so we've got a little bit more even lighting in here so you can see we'll start here with the kitchen you've got a ceiling fan in here for airflow speakers nice kind of chandelier there is the nice kind that you can hang pots on i love those um now your center island here obviously you've got your blue light here that switches right there um this cutting board i do not believe was part of the original floor plan but is really really nice they did a great job mounting that it's very heavy duty but they put very nice um rails on here so it's not going anywhere. I mean, you can see just how thick that is. Very nice, beautiful cutting table and um, perfect size. I love how they did that there. All right, big stainless steel sink. Your faucet comes down. Coming around, you got lots of uh, storage here. Pantry space, all under there. Again, we've got those soft closed doors your big uh this should be a 20 cubic foot fridge ice maker down in there they were keeping it fresh you can see so plenty of room if you are full timing or prefer to just glamp which is glamorous camping for those of you who haven't heard that beautiful term before i'm gonna go ahead and turn on this see this should be the fan Yes, because the fan's not going to work on 12 volt, which is what we're running off of. Uh, panel light. Oven light, that's all going to be 12 volt. I thought I had another light under here. I guess the light was going to be um, on your microwave here. Light on off, so that's going to be your main light there. Full size oven. Yes, you can cook a turkey in there. I know we're a little past Thanksgiving now, but you can cook a turkey in there for Christmas. Drawers. Just overall, lots of cabinet space. Very, very nice. And um, that one is not soft closed, by the way. I'm going to put the camera down to do this because it does take two hands. You can see you just push each of those levers there. Okay, so now that I've got that down, I'll show you you've got a nice half bath here. Turn on the light. There we go. So you've got sink, place for nice toiletries, little medicine cabinet in here. Plenty of ceiling height so it doesn't get claustrophobic. Nice little half bath. All right, and you've got these accent lights over the slides too that you can see. Those lights are just those switches right in there that I'm pointing to. Pretty much sums up our kitchen. Oh, we've got our dinette here. So these chairs, let's see, I think, yeah, you've got a little bit of extra hidden storage down in there. Let's see if I can move this out of the... This just kind of helps keep them in place while travel. You've got some hidden storage in each of these. Chairs are all in very nice condition. Table's in good condition. So this pops up like this so that you can pull out That, and that actually acts as a little bit of extra storage. You can put a laptop or some paperwork under there. That comes down. I did not pull that out far enough. There we go. And now you've got a table extension. If you've got a few more people or just want to make more room to work on your stuff. There we go. And then it sits flush. All your shades are going to be these roller shades. 
It's going to be throughout the entire kitchen, living room, everything you see. It's going to have those roller shades. Let's take a look upstairs. You've got your step light there. Walking up. So this is going to be our living area. You've got your two reclining seats here. They've got the tab poles right there. Very, very soft, com uh, comfortable furniture. And then you've got this bed. When I say bed, it pulls out to a bed. Um, and then this one is going to do the same thing. So you can see right under there. Let's take this off. Oh, they put a lot of Velcro on these. Did not want to come off. And notice I am doing this with one hand. Okay, I lied. I used my second hand for that. Okay. Now you can notice I'm doing this with one hand. There we go. Just like that, that pulls out. All right, and that lays flat. So you can see, it comes to right about halfway. So if we were to do that one as well, it would also come out and meet right about the same place. So you can make this into one big party bed. You could have it separate, individual, only one out, one in, that kind of thing. Now I don't want to disclose this one as being um, no pets because there are some signs of some dog hair. Now whenever I disclose something as no pets, it doesn't mean that we got rid of all the hair and we're hiding it. The reason that I post that on my post and say that whether it's had pets or not is for those of y'all who have very severe allergies um, because there's you know never any way to completely get all the dander out um, no matter how much you clean. And so I do that just for those of y'all who are very, very allergic. Um, now, as far as like that, this hasn't been through detail yet. When they go through detail, they do pull out all these couches. They clean the carpets. They do as much as they can to get rid of as much dog hair or, you know, any kind of dirt or anything that they find. Detail is part of what we do inside and out. Now, with that, uh, with what you're going to get... In purchasing this one or any other one from us is it comes with your batteries are going to be making sure that they are in excellent condition I'll put those cushions on here in a minute excellent condition um, if not they are replaced and get brand new batteries now also you are going to get uh, your propane tanks will be filled and you'll get a hundred and thirty point inspection now the hundred thirty point inspection is going to cover such things as your slide mechanisms your auto leveling your ACs, your refrigerator, your water pumps, water heaters, all your mechanicals, your important stuff like that. Um, as far as cosmetics, it really doesn't cover that, but depending on the cosmetic and depending on the unit, sometimes we will. It, it just kind of depends. Um, so if you see something small, which I really don't think this one has much, these wires need to be tucked up a little bit better. Um, that's really my main complaint about this one, which is really nothing. But uh, I did want to just go ahead and disclose all that. You've got your fireplace there. I don't know if this will work off 12 volt. Yes, okay, I was hoping it would. Now, notice how that comes out a little bit crooked. I've noticed it likes to do that, but I'll show you a trick to it. So it's crooked. You just adjust it just like that. And ta-da, it's not crooked anymore. So you've got your TV there, your living room TV. And of course, your sound system and everything is under there. I'm going to put this back down for now in case somebody moves it. That way they don't have to check and make sure that the TV is down. We don't have any accidents happen. And then that seals off nice and flush. So you could put something up there. You've also got a shade here if you'd like some privacy. So this is our living area. Nice and roomy. Beautiful condition, furniture of no uh, rips, tears, anything like that that I could find. All right, let's take a look at the other end of the house. Starting to come upstairs, you've got um, drawers and a little extra closet here. 
Now notice that silver rack is supposed to fit between those two brackets. I did try to put it in and it is just a smidge too short. So I'm thinking there might be a little piece missing. It probably would be an easy, um, just kind of jack of all trades, do it yourself to get that to fit. Um, but that's gonna just kind of sit there. Now walking into the bedroom here, you've got a king bed, nice, um, whatever you call those. You've got your side cross windows for cross breeze. And then you actually have a little window kind of behind there. I don't know if you can see that or not. The blue lighting is optional. There's two separate switches for that. Now this bed, when you run the slide in, this is a pretty large slide to give you lots of walk room. When you run the slide in, this part of the bed flips up. That's why you see that seam there. Let's close this door so we can see back here. Plenty of hanging room there. The same thing with right there. You've got your TV connections. Your second AC is located back here. All right, you've got your barn door styles for your bathroom. Lovely bathroom, I love this bathroom. Corner toilet, of course that's porcelain. I wouldn't expect anything less in here. Lots of space here for storage, lots of mirrors. That one is open just for a little bit easier access. This is where that replacement panel, I believe, that we saw in that pass-through storage goes. So you have lots of storage all under here. Dual vanities. And I'll show you your light switches over here. Turn off that blue light if you aren't a fan. And it's a lot bluer. Well, it's not so... Um, overwhelming as it appears in the video my phone tends to not like those blue led lights um but it is pretty blue i mean i will say that but i think it's really pretty you've got your glass shower here little seat really nice shower head um so this is going to be definitely optimal if you are a taller person plenty of room to step in and fit there and then right here this opens up so you've got a clip here undo that to keep it from sliding this opens up and you've got either a closet or washer dryer hookups or both if you decide to do an all-in-one um, it has not actually had washer and dryer in it before because that dryer vent would have been drilled right there so you can do an all-in-one give yourself room for clothes do a stackable um, or of course you can just use it as a pantry and get the full access to it I do like that the slides open and not um, swings open just to give you a little bit more room. Plus you can lock your partner in the shower. That's kind of always fun. Um, but mostly because you've got access to this rack right here, you don't lose that one way or the other or knock things around when you open it. So that's very, very nice. So that pretty much sums up everything about this Sandpiper. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous unit. Um, if you think I missed anything, or if you have any questions, you can reach out. My number is on the screen. Feel free to give me a holler. I'd be more than happy to go over this unit with you um, or look at my other inventory. See if there's something else I have that catches your eye, if this is not what you're looking for. Uh, if you are in love with this one, we can do a deposit over the phone. Um, and you can lock this one down. I do have customers do that all the time, especially those who are long distance. Let me know how I can help best fit your needs. Again, numbers on the screen. Thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a blessed day.